it's the next day i had an amazing night yesterday we ended up at this family party and i had a, such a great time because some of the most lovely people i ever met in my life today we're gonna go <coughs> Today, oh, there she is. Today she's gonna show me some more, but she's already here now, so we have to go. I needed to change room, they got me a new one. It was booked, the other one. We start the day with a little bit of work because she of course have this store and it needs to be running. So she put me to work. I have to put these ones like this. It's a really nice system they got here. So everything hangs on these hooks outside and you can then move them back and forth. It started the video when we closed this door, I'll show you. Now you have to tell you that my finger is not, not good at this. It's gonna take forever this. But it's, it's nice to do a little bit of local work. I managed to do one in one minute. She just came and showed me her technique and it's a little bit better than mine. But my fingers are... <laughs> I'm horrible at this. I think if I was working in this store, I would pay to work here. I wouldn't get paid. That's the pace I'm doing right now. She told me that we're gonna go rock climbing today. Which I'm very excited about. I should maybe have taken my running shoes, but I didn't know before what we actually were doing. But first we're gonna eat some food because I didn't have any breakfast yet. <clears throat> and then we close the store and then we leave. What do you think about my speed? <laughs> the first time you do it, it's normal to be slow. You're not an expert yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's extremely good, this food. I don't think it's gonna be any more living with a local and doing this work. I'm almost done with this one now. It took quite a while, but I feel like I've got kind of the hang of it now. I'm not fast at all, not at all, <laughs> not at all. And she came with a new one and said, could you please put these ones also? <laughs> the food was incredible. I think we paid $5 or something for it. It would probably be 50 if we bought it in Europe. The struggle for me is mostly to find a string here that's not in use. This market is kind of a morning market. So I guess it won't be long before we start closing and then we go on the hike. It's 11.30 now and it's super quiet here. It's actually really nice here. Also in this little store and then with all the colors and all that, I really hope that it looks amazing on our TV. Let me tell you a little bit more about last night. It was so nice to hang around with these people. So friendly. Nobody spoke English. There was one guy that spoke French. And I don't speak French at all, but I understand some of the friends. So he was just speaking French to me. And I kind of understood what he meant. It's the same for me with Spanish. My Spanish is very, how to say, poquito, uh, which is small in Spanish. So I kind of could understand what he was saying about stuff. Then there was a little birthday celebration. Very exciting night, very exciting night. Uh, Denmark, super excited about being here and being so local as, as this is. This is like unbelievably local. And here again, the engineering of Asia. It's like an old can, this one. I think she's telling the other people that she got me to work here now. <laughs> I was about to get in trouble there. Of course, you should spray a little bit of water so the dust doesn't come up. Falang man, like me. So. Don't think about that, right? 
we're back in the car. She's just buying some snacks right now for my money. We're gonna go on a one hour hike. I guess it's up in the mountain there. We're gonna hike one hour up and I guess one hour back down. I'm so excited about going. And in general, just so excited about trying this out. Being at that market was so amazing. Also because I'm the only foreigner in this town. Everybody is coming over and saying hi and it's, it's, it's quite something, really quite something. I, I really appreciate it. I also just told her I'm so happy that you're taking me all these places. So, so happy, so thankful. It's hard to wish for more in this situation. She also invited me home and she will cook a dinner for me. I would also say so far, Thailand has been amazing but Laos has just had one step up. I feel like the people here are so amazing. And for some reason, especially yesterday, it kind of reminds me of Australia. The people here is very similar to Australian people in some kind of weird way. I know it sounds completely weird because it's a different culture, everything is different. But the kindness, the everything kind of, it just, it have this feeling of Australia for me. This is amazing because I love Australia and I'm, can't wait to get, which is amazing. So apparently it was delivered the snack here. Somebody was knocking on the window and I thought it was her in the turn and it was somebody else <laughs> with this. I don't know what it is, we'll find out. I'm looking so much forward to be back in Australia. It's gonna be later on though, when I hopefully start to earn a little bit of money. Because right now, a few months there will wipe out my entire budget for this full year that I'm traveling Asia. How about You right? Yes. I found out what it is. It's iced coffee in a bag. It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That was a very bumpy road. We were talking a little bit about the roads here. She wished it would be better. She also said nobody is in a rush here, so people will just slow down. I told her if there is a tiny hole in the road in my country, people will complain and the government will come and fix it. Look at this Buddha here. It looks amazing that it's just sitting there in the middle of nowhere, looking out of the countryside. <laughs> I think she's annoyed at me that I'm so slow. That's the part of filming, you go nowhere fast. Oh. Sabadi! Oh, little friend. It looks like it's some kind of temple here. Oh, it's a huge gong. It's so big, this gong is probably two and a half meter or something like that. What an amazing place this is. And here's the Buddha. And here's the view. There's a dragon here also. Look at this stunning view. It's crazy, some of the land is completely raw and bare and here is all green, full of trees, plants and so on. And here it is, a full Buddha. It doesn't look that big on the video as it does in real life. Now we entered the woods. I think we're gonna walk in here for an hour. I have no clue where we're gonna end up though. It looks like people are living in here. That is the most peaceful place to live on the planet. We walked for 45 minutes. Here's a little temple. Looks like we reached the top. So beautiful. It's a tiny little praying area there also. It looks so amazing, this view here. Full of tiny islands there. And then right over here, there. I think it's a casino, as I was told, that has just been completed. The walk up here is about an hour. 70% of it is like very uncomfortable terrain with a very narrow road, a lot of woods, and 25% is kind of easy. And if you wonder how much there are, of stuff and thing. <laughs> Lai is like peeling this one off her <laughs> clothing and my my cat here is also full of them. <laughs> Take a look at this view here. It almost looked like a different planet with all the haze. But 
this is one side and here's the other side <laughs> so beautiful up here right here right now it's where you really have to stop and then just be grateful for what life is giving me right now it's incredible I, I, I really honestly don't know what to say about all this it's been some crazy days where you couldn't pay for this I was just super lucky to run into the right people at the right moment and in general I feel like many times during this trip it's been like that 100% also because of the friendliness and the openness and the helpfulness of the people here in Asia it is if you've never been here before go here it's amazing when you look like here it looks like a green screen it looks like somebody put something here put this up and then there's a green screen there and this all of this is just computer and this way it just look like a different planet we probably have to start going down quite soon so we get there before it gets dark which will be in two and a half hour or something like that what a trip so far what a trip now i'll try to go this way without falling there was a sweaty but relatively easy way down we're not all the way down we're out of the forest here so now it's just concrete for the rest we got lost once i'm sweaty but it was super nice though super nice we just stopped quite close to where we're hiking and this is supposed to be able to stay here and it's kind of like an Alice in Wonderland themed place. There's all kinds of weird sculptures all around the park here. It's actually a quite big area here around. <laughs> it's T-Rex also. I got dropped off at the place I'm staying to take a quick shower because I was so sweaty. And it was a warm one, which was super nice because the previous place I was at, there was no hot water. It was here. I'm supposed to be picked up by his brother's son, probably on a moped. And then I'm super curious to see what kind of food she's gonna cook and how it's gonna taste. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. It's just a matter of what it is. It's me again from the future. Hope you enjoyed the video so far. I think it's my personal favorite, at least one of them. She invited me over for dinner at her house that she wanted to cook. It was so peaceful and quiet there that I didn't feel like speaking to the camera at all. I just wanted to sit and watch her cook the food and just enjoy the moment. And then also when I speak to the camera, I speak relatively loud. That would be so weird for me to do that. So I have a lot of shots here that I will show you you while I'm talking. So she was making some kind of spring roll. I can't remember at all the name of it, but it was so, so good. And it was cooked over fire, like a fire stove, which was so amazing for me to see that and watch that. And then just watch this wonderful woman prepare this food for me. It was impressive. It was not only for me, it was also for the full family. I think there were living six people in the house. And then the day after, she offered me to drive me to where I am now in Wang Wang. I think that's how it's called. She was just come to the market, help me close the store, and then I will drive you there. So amazing. I paid for all the diesel we used all these days. Sitting at the market, and then people came and gave me these ones and put them on and I had to sit in a specific way when they did it. Apparently it's something that will protect me on my trip, which is I'm very grateful about. I'm so thankful for all the people I met in this town and also being in this town as the only foreigner. And she told me there's almost no foreigner around there ever. 
So it's kind of, you feel like you're a rock star because people would come over and say hi and want pictures and videos and all kinds of stuff with you. It was kind of funny for me to try, which is complete opposite of where I am right now, where it's only foreigners. When I went to have my coffee this morning, there was only foreigners in that cafe, only foreigners. Anyways, that's for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy them as much as I did, because I really did. Cup chai to all the people in this village, and especially Lai, that was so, so friendly to help me discover this area and discover all these people. Thank you. See you in the next one. She own Could you please turn off your alarm?